Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing Comic Uno's top 10 most anticipated books for September. So let's just jump into the list. Number 10 for me is Fire and Ice, Welcome to Smallville, issue one. I, I'm excited for this because honestly, I don't know much about Fire and Ice. I know they were part of the Just League International. They had a few stories in that Power Girl backup story from a few months ago, and now they're getting their, their fully fledged out miniseries. And what I also think is interesting is having the setting of Smallville, something I feel like we don't get to see enough in comics. So that is number 10 for me. Moving on to number nine, which is Captain America issue one. This is written by JMS and the artist that did half of the Punisher for, Punisher series of Jason Aaron's run, which I loved. I really in, enjoyed that art a lot. And you know, it's cool to see JMS returning to Marvel, returning to superhero comics in general. And I, I want to see what he has to bring to Captain America. I like the last run for the most part. And I'm not a huge Captain America fan. So I also want to see is this going to be for hardcore fans or anyone could really jump into this. Moving on to number eight, which is the Flash issue one. This is more a horror take uh, for the character, which honestly, I feel like you do need to go a very different direction following up that really wonderful run by Jeremy Adams. And and now we're we're getting to see Wally do something else and and again have a different tone. I I don't know if I'm as excited as I was with the the kind of more traditional storytelling with Wally from that previous volume, but I do think it's a good way to follow that up. All right, moving on to number 7, which is Wonder Woman issue 1. I'm curious to see what Tom King's going to bring to the Wonder Woman character because we we did get to see him write Supergirl. I think that was his first fully fledged female lead series. I'm curious to see if he's going to take a similar direction to honestly pretty much all his previous series, kind of PTSD storylines, more dramatic storytelling. Is is that the direction we're going to also see with Wonder Woman? What characters we're going to see? I know there's a, a new character being introduced there, uh, Trinity. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what that has to do with the full story. And, and we have some wonderful artwork. Uh, we, Tom King really tends to collaborate with some of the best artists in the business. And, and that's happening here with this with this title as well all right moving on to number six which is tales of the titans issue three so technically yes this is an issue three and and not an ending of a series or or an issue one like i tend to have with this list but the reason i i do have this book is because the the series tends to be more of one shots they're they're very different from each other and i really like the past two i'm not even a huge raven fan and i i enjoyed that story i thought starfire did a great job and i love donna troy uh, i i like her I love Donna Troy to an extent that I, I'm not, I don't have all the previous baggage of Donna Troy, but I, I like her character a lot. And I want to see more of modern day Donna because we, you know, back, at, she died for a little while. So there, there's this chunk of, of, of time where you're like, okay, so Donna didn't really have a lot of story there. What what does a modern look of her character look like? Uh, and again, these other one shots have done a good job at showing where the character has been to where the character is going. So that is my number six. Moving on to number five, which is Batman issue 137. This is part two of the Catwoman Batman crossover. Again, kind of breaking the rules here on this one, but because it's the start of the crossover, even though it's a part two, I wanted to add this onto the list. I'm very excited to see what this means for the Batman-Catwoman relationship because obviously they've been working on very separate planes until now. And, and this is the start of actually seeing it cross over into the series. The other one's a one-shot starting that part one. Moving on to number four, Uncanny Spider-Man. I want to know what this is about. I, I love when a comic could do something different, especially in Marvel and DC, where we do get to see some recycled storylines and also these characters existing for decades and decades and decades, how do you do something different with still sticking to what these characters are? And Nightcrawler being Spider-Man, I never would have really guessed. So why is this happening? What does that look like? I think the costume looks interesting. I'm not a huge Nightcrawler fan, so I'm gonna I'm curious to see if it'll make me more of a fan of his character. What does this have to do with Spider-Man? I don't know. So that's my number four, just because I really just want to know what that series is about. Moving on to number three, which is Batman and Robin issue one. I love Joshua Williamson's run on Robin. I really feel like he's done so many home runs for DC Comics lately, especially his ongoing slash miniseries where it's just 
a, a character like Green Arrow, I think he did a great job with. Obviously, I just mentioned Robin. And now we're, we're kind of seeing a continuation of that. And, and I'm sure this is going to be more of a sequel series than anything. And we're just kind of throwing Batman into the mix. So that's number three on my list. Number two is Avengers Inc. Again, speaking on just reinventing the wheel a little bit. Obviously, we've seen the name Inc. before from, from Marvel. But A, it's been a while. I feel like it's actually been over a decade since we've seen that name. And also, this feels very noir, kind of has like a super spy angle to it. And I like Wasp. I think it's an interesting dynamic with Vision. The artwork looks really good for this one. So I, I just want to see if this is going to deliver something very different from Marvel. All right, moving on to number one, which is Birds of Prey, issue one. I can't explain to you how excited I am for this book. We have Kelly Thompson with also another wonderful collaborator on, I believe is the same artist who worked on Kelly Thompson's Hawkeye. So I'm, I'm super excited to see see that team come back together. And I, I'm just excited for this book. I love Kelly Thompson's writing, and I think this is just so in her wheelhouse. Obviously, just moving and shifting to DC is interesting and exciting. But I loved West Coast Avengers. I, I love her comedy. I like her drama. And I think Birds of Prey is just a perfect am amalgamation of all that. And, and also a really interesting cast. It's not your standard Birds of Prey. You have Harley in there. You got uh, Big Barda. You have Cassandra Kane. And and I'm curious to see if there's going to be any added additions to the roster. Are we going to see Stephanie Brown? How are these characters going to interact? I am so excited for the, this book. Honestly, it's probably one of my most anticipated books of the year. Uh, so that's my number one pick. Let me know in the comments below what are the books you're most excited for this month. This is Comic Uno, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.